Now we're going to record section B melody. So we're going to tap the plus sign and select section B. And we'll just practice the melody first. So starting on the F at the right hand end of the keyboard, it goes F, 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 E, 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 D, D, E, D, G. I'll do that again. F, 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 E, 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 D, D, E, D, G. So practice that lots of times until you're confident. And then I'll just demonstrate the recording. So here comes my count of four. Remember, if you find it difficult to record along to the other tracks, you can go to tracks view and you can just switch on the headphones of the track that you're recording, which is that bottom piano track there. And then all you will hear is the clicks. I'll go back and demonstrate that recording with just the clicks. Okay, so I'm gonna tap return. Here we go. Two, three, four. F, 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 E, 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 D, D, E, D, G. Okay, so whichever way you prefer to record is fine. Have a go of recording section B. Once you've recorded your melody for section A and B, we're going to quantize that. So tap on the plus sign. Select all sections. Check that your ruler begins with number one and finishes with number eight. And then come up and tap track controls in the top left. This time we're going to do track settings, quantization, straight. And this time we're going to select the eighth note because we have some shorter note values in our melody, okay? so. Track settings, quantization, straight, eighth note. And once you've done that, you can tap to come out of that menu again.